I would say 50 is probably you could start to start giving health care, yeah. Yes. I'm going to say no, they shouldn't be required to provide health care, but if they don't, then they should be required to, well, they should just, they should have to pay a little bit more so that their employees can pro get health care for themselves. Um, yes, I believe that they should. I think that there should be some mechanism for people to get health care through their work, yes. I think businesses should probably do their part. I feel like when they turn 18, they should probably have to get their own. Uh, no. I feel like 26 is too old. Um, by the time you're 26, you're really a, you should be established by then. And I feel like you shouldn't be living off, you know, a family member. It should be based off of what kind of schooling you're getting. And if you're in school, then you can't really pay for your own health care because you're paying for school. So if you're in school for longer, you should stay on your parents' health care longer. But once you're out of school, you should start getting your own health care. No, not 26. I feel like once you're 26, you should at least be somewhat established to have a separate plan. Like maybe like 21, like around there. Uh, yes, I believe they should. Yep, I think that's really necessary, particularly since with rising costs of college tuition, it's very, very difficult to graduate. I mean, UCF does have the unfortunate nickname of you can't finish. So finishing college by the t traditional 21 or 22 isn't as possible in today's economy. Um, yeah, I guess. I don't think so. I don't think that would be right. That wouldn't be fair to, you know, the person with those conditions. So I think there should be certain programs that um, work differently from a regular person's health care, but they should still be provided health care. No, I feel like their entire purpose of being there is to be like to help people, at least like that have issues. And if they have an issue for you to turn them away, is not right? Um, no, I don't think that they should be allowed to exclude people from pre-existing conditions. No, I don't think they should. I think that that's part of their profit sharing idea for their, their, their shareholders. And I kind of understand the capitalistic drive, but pre-existing conditions are more the norm than not. And especially if they're gonna define things, and I'm not making this up, if they're gonna define things like pregnancy and sexual assault as pre-existing conditions, I think it's immoral. No, I, don't, I do not support Obamacare because it raised premiums on people's pre-existing health care. I support Obamacare. I don't support, support Obamacare because it's forced upon everyone. Um, so it should be, uh, um, I don't know too much about it, but I do know that it's forced on people. And um, you should, I think you should have a choice on whether you get Obamacare or not. Oh, Obamacare, because it, make sure that everybody has like coverage even though I heard that it might be more expensive than the Affordable Care Act or something like that but like I feel like everybody needs to be covered when it comes to health at least. They're both the same thing Obamacare and the Affordable Care Act are the same thing. They're the same thing and I absolutely love the fact that people don't think that they're the same thing and I've actually gotten in Facebook fights that resulted in epic defriending with people who say well I don't like Obamacare because it's socialist but the Affordable Care Act saved my bacon. I'm like well your bacon got saved by socialism according to you. Well, like I said, I don't support either of them because they actually raise premiums on people to, to get health care. But people, most people don't understand that, but it actually did make it more expensive. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know those two were the same thing. Well, then I would say the same thing about affordable care that I said about Obamacare. care. Oh, well then, I don't know. I guess I'm not as informed as I thought it was. Um, well, I think that democracy you know, is supported by an informed populace and without having an informed, literate public on scientific policies, government policies, environmental policies, then they really can't vote for politicians who support their personal views. So by having an informed populace, I think that democracy works best. I think it's critically important to be an informed consumer in every decision that you make, especially issues regarding health care. This is your life, this is your family. So for people who have these uninformed biases based on memes or based on sound bites, it actually kind of horrifies me. And unfortunately, I think that's where we're devolving to.